Despero, we don't ask that you be more like your brother, Furlow. We would never ask you to do that. We just ask that you be more like any other mouse. Just pick anyone. You choose. Because you are scaring everyone in town with your not being scared all the time. Your father's business is suffering. We've even heard that the Mouse Council may be investigating you. You know what they do to people who don't follow the rules. They will send you down to the darkest depths of the castle, into the dungeon where the rats live. <laughs> Why are you making that face again? Because he's trying to scare you. That's what a good big brother does. He's trying to teach you the joys of fear. <sighs> Go to the kitchen with your brother and teach him how to behave properly. Maybe he'll learn to run away from things like a good mouse. The castle kitchens were once used for the glorious production of soup. That was back before soup was banned. Now meals are still made here, yes, an occasional sandwich perhaps, or plain white rice. Okay, pay attention now. Let's get started. Run! Run! Come on! Good going. Now, go get all that yummy cheese under the table legs and come back here. And watch out for the chef. Check this out, Despero. If you're under a ledge, you can jump up and grab it. Then pull yourself up. Here, watch. Ooh! Mm, mm. Ooh! Mm. Mm. Ooh! Mm. Mm, mm. Ooh! Mm. Mm, mm. Ooh! Not bad! It's a tough climb up here. Now you better hang on for what's next. If you get a running start, you can jump from the top of one thing clear to the top of something else. That's how I'm going to get over to the shelf over there. You're coming too, so get ready for some hair-raising jumps and maybe even some shimming up poles and such. It'll be fun! See you there! Mm. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Way to mm. go! Ooh. Ooh. Mm. 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 Now you gotta climb around on some candles before we can go any farther. Dad says it's important. Lean towards the next one mm. and jump! Ooh. You made it! Good going! It's not over though. This next trick will come in very handy. If you flatten yourself up close to the wall, you can shimmy along a thin ledge. Do that to get over to the windowsill. And don't forget, you can climb up tablecloths and things too. See you at the windowsill, little brother. Mm. 
Drop down there, kid brother. Mm. Now a wise mouse gets all the cheese. Mm. Always. The cheese will lead you where to go. Mm. Whoa! Mm. Careful. Mm. 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 Ha ha! Good work. Now for the part I hate. Danger. We're gonna have to slip past the chef while he's making stuff. Watch his face, and when he's not looking, sneak quietly over to the next hiding place. I'll go first, you wait until I get past him. Tiptoe! Mouse! Sacre bleu! A mouse? I cannot believe it! No mouse in my kitchen! We've got to tiptoe and stay hidden, or you'll be seen. I'll meet you on the bottom shelf, past the other side of the bookcase. Hurry up, but watch out! Careful. Whoa! Mm. Down here. Oh. Phew. Close one. Let's keep going. Now as a mouse, you can actually scurry across walls. Just get a running start, then head up and across the wall and you can go pretty far. Not only that, but you can jump off the wall while running. You'll see how it works. It's a long way up to the top of these shelves, but you can do it. I'll be waiting up there for you, little brother. Mm. Remember, a running start! Ooh! Mm. Mm. Watch this, Despero. I miss the old days. Go ahead! Scurry! Mm. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Mm. Sometimes, the humans actually help you without knowing. Time it right, and you can hitch a ride on things they move. Jump up on it, and hitch a ride when he moves it. Hitch a ride on the basket! Mm. You made it! Way to go! Dad'll be so happy!
The kitchen adventure took up a lot of energy, and Despero and Furlow were hungry, so they did the logical thing. They scurried from the kitchen to the library in search of something to eat. Look! A room full of stuff to eat! Uh, huh? Books, little brother! Books! To eat? Of course! Yummy paper and tasty glue served up in a yummy cardboard sandwich. Um, yay! Yippee! I found an incredibly big and tasty book yesterday. You've got to get across the room over on the book stand. Let's go dig in. Despero would like to stop and read, but remember, he's here to learn the rules of being a mouse. Hey, Des, push that bust off the shelf to distract that human. Come on, that's the way. Dust it off. Oh, mm. all dusty Ooh. from the floor. Oh, there goes me back again. Follow the path of cheese. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Check it out, little brother. Ooh. You can straddle two walls and inch your way Ooh. up. Try it. Mm. Mm. Oh there, young mouse. What brings you to this vast labyrinth of knowledge? Despero! Don't talk to him! I am Caravaggio by name, my large-eared friend. If you need anything, anytime, I'm your mouse. As long as you got enough cheese, or even shiny buttons. Don't trust him. He's not afraid of anything. Correctamundo. I come and go as I please. Now you see me, now you... Don't! Wow! Oh, forget him. He's trouble. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Careful! Mm. Young adventurer, see that over there? It may look like a used toothpick, but you'll need it, I assure you. Prove to me your bravery. Get the toothpick, and I will show you how to use it wisely. Mm. Mm. Ha! Got it! Well done! You have acquired a weapon, young mouse. Allow me to teach you a few basic moves. Practice your combinations. Practice, practice, practice! Ha! 
take that! Very good. Now, my quick learning friend, let's try a strong attack. Aha! Excellent. Now, try mixing quick and strong attacks. Oh When you defeat an enemy, he will often drop beautiful shiny buttons. Collect them, young mouse, and I will reward you handsomely. Farewell, my pupil. Next time we meet, you will learn even more. see soup anymore. It's banned. Take a sip, Despero. You don't get many chances to have some soup. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Come on, little brother. Climbing up stuff can be very handy. Want to climb up there? Careful. Gotta teach you some jumping skills. With those ears of yours, I bet you can glide around a little bit. Gotta jump way over there. Come on! Mm. Good going, little brother. Ooh. Ooh. 
I have traveled the world, and never have I met anyone as fascinating as I, Caravaggio! Practice your combinations. Practice, practice, practice. <laughs> Bellissima! Now, two strong attacks, one after the other. Oh ho! Ha! You have a brand new flashy move, you rogue. Time to give it a whirl. Go ahead, try it out. Ha! Farewell, young boss. Don't forget to come to me with all your combat moves. I guarantee my work. Aha! Perfect. Mm. This is our job. Not proper work for me. I think I can make that jump. Mick disappears whenever there's real work to do. This is our job. Not proper work for me. I think I can make that jump. Mm. I'd like to box her ears, I would. Once upon a time. That's great, isn't it? You're not supposed to read it, Despero. You're supposed to eat it. I'll meet you back at home in an hour and no reading. I'm serious, Despero. It's a rule. You'll get in a lot of trouble, and when I say trouble, I mean the Mouse Council. Eat, not read. Got it. Bye, Furlo. Bye! But Despero did read. He read and read. Once upon a time, there lived a princess fairer than any in any other land. 
But this princess was locked in the Castle of Sadness, able to see the world, but not to touch it. She longed for a prince, a brave knight who would deliver her from all of this. Someone with courage and honor and decency. Wow. Despero did devour the book, but not in the way furlough meant. And just moments after discovering the joys of reading, he discovered a pleasure that was equally yummy. From the distant reaches of the castle, there came a sound unlike any Despero had ever heard, even with his ears. Is it the sound of magic? To him, it's as if a clear stream ran across crystalline rocks through beautiful towering trees. We know it as music. So Despero followed his ears, and without even knowing it, he was off on his very first quest. Our little friend was searching for music, but instead he found a human, a sleeping princess, a sad sleeping princess. The kind of sad that comes from loss, the kind of sad that spends each day gazing through the window, the kind of sad that one gets when one's heart has been broken. The princess, her name is Princess P, has a royal maid named Mig. Must be quiet. Miss Princess is asleep, she is. Oh, if only I could speak to her. Would it be too much if I opened the grapes to wake her up? Here in the living quarters of the castle, Despero sees an opulence unlike any he can imagine. A beautiful, beautiful room. Yet somehow, a very sad room. We meet again, your good friend Caravaggio. Caravaggio, at your service, my... You won't make it through this treacherous pass. Not without some of my combat. This is a quick attack that you charge up. If the princess has a broken heart, so has me. Mm. Sold to a cruel farmer as a child by a father unable to care for her. Brought up with boxed ears and hogs for friends. Yes, Mig is happy to be in the castle after all that. Still, mm. she'd be happier if she were princess. Mm. Mm. Take 
Sure is dark in here. The sadness of the room is the sadness of the kingdom. The queen was a loving wife, mother and ruler. When she died of shock one year ago, it was a blow from which the kingdom cannot seem to recover. Ha ha! Oh. Many bugs. 
I'm almost there, my princess. I can open up the curtain with a good yank and awaken the princess. And there she was, like she climbed out of the book he was just reading. <gasps> Are you a rat? Despero gazed at the waking princess and then, though he knew it was against mouse law, spoke. No. What are you? A mouse? I am a gentleman. Are you sad? Yes. Why? I miss the way things were. I miss my mother. Oh, of course. I miss the way she used to sing along to my music box. But I lost the music box key when I was a little girl. I'll never hear that music again. I'm sorry. And it's silly, but I miss the way she loved soup. If only we could have soup once more. But that's impossible. I just read a book about a knight who could do the impossible. Perhaps you could do the impossible too, my good gentleman. From that moment, Despero was smitten. As Despero was becoming better acquainted with the princess, Furlow and Lester were thinking of ways to turn Despero into a proper mouse. I tried, but he refuses to fear. Oh, what do you want me to do? Take him to the outskirts. The outskirts? Oh, I'm scared just talking about it. Perfect. That's just the response we're looking for. Fine. I'll try. Bless you, son. And remember, stay scared. So Furlow set out to try to scare Despero into being permanently frightened, fearful, and paranoid of everything, so he'd be a well-adjusted young mouse. Despero! Where have you been? Something amazing has happened to me. My whole life has changed. Well, that's just dandy. Look, Dad's got some errands he needs you to do. You think you can? Um, okay, I guess. Great. Meet me at the bottom of the easel over there, and I'll tell you the first thing you gotta do. Ooh! Mmm! Spider!
Mm. Ooh. Yikes. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Yikes! It is I, Caravan. If you have some extra cheese, or even shiny bu this one does high damage in a circle around you. But you've got to ch Mmm. 
How about this one? You gotta get those three gemstones up on those shelves up there. One on each shelf. Only way to get up there is by flipping yourself up off a mousetrap. How about them apples? I've gotta climb up on each mousetrap and spring it? Yep, that'll flip you up to a shelf. Careful though, it's dangerous. Sounds kinda... Scary? Fun! Oh, well, see how far you get, then come back here to report. Hey, that! Oh ho! Mmm! Mmm! Ooh! Mmm! Ooh! Ooh! Mmm! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ooh! Yay! Mmm! 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 Ooh! Mmm! Oh, yeah! Yeah. Ha! Oh my. Mm. Ah. Whew. Ooh. Mm. 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 On. You got all of them? Oh, brother. I mean, oh, my brother! <laughs> Way to go! Uh, okay, okay. Climb up this thing behind me and meet me at the top. I'll come up with something up there for you.
See that? The spider's den? Right you are, little brother. Let's take care of this once and for all. You've got to go all the way through the spider's den and meet me on the other side. What kind of an errand is that? With any luck, little brother, you will be scared to pieces. What? Never mind. Go!
Bro, you're not supposed to overcome your fears. You're supposed to let them stop you. When are you gonna learn to mess up like a real mouse? But Despero's thoughts were consumed with something bigger, something brighter, something bluer, and something that seemed to be pleading for his help. The clear blue eyes of Princess P, which had not left his thoughts since he saw them. Um, I've got a problem. You're telling me. Or maybe it's an opportunity. Furlough, I talked to a human. You what? Princess P. You are losing your mind. And you're taking me with you. I have lost my mind, and my heart with it. I'm in love, Furlough. You'll be banished! She's so sad. I really want to get her something to cheer her up. Banished! Just something small. They will fling you down through the gate to who knows where. She told me a story about when she was a little girl. She lost the key to her music box. Oh, just stop! It's a crime for me to even be hearing this. If I remember correctly, a mouse took it. La 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 la, Despero's talking and I'm not listening. Thanks, Furlo. You helped me figure it out. You helped me help the princess. Don't say that out loud. Don't even think it. Don't say or think what I think you just said. They'll banish us both for good. Despero! And so, hoping the key would be the key to bringing happiness back to the castle, Despero set out to return it to P. Be careful, Despero. Things can get a little scary on the outskirts of Mouse Town. Bugs and spiders and high, jagged pathways. Take care, my little friend. The Mouse Council would disapprove if they knew Despero was looking for a gift for a human. They would certainly set the feared Mouse Watch after him. scary on the outskirts. One little music box key. Ooh. 
Once, dear adventurer, happy mice lived here, but waves of marauding spiders came through. Now, nothing is left but a lonely mouse ghost town. you too can be like me, Caravaggio! In exchange for a bite of cheese, you can already do a quick attack when you... Another spider! Tarantula! Whoa, whoa, mm. What was I looking for? Oh, yeah, music box key. Mm. I hate spiders. Mm. Oh, ho. Ow. That hurt. That hurt. Ow. Mm. 
this. and roses would be a lot easier. Gah! Another oh, spider! Oh. Mm. 
Ah, the key to P's childhood music box. The music box her mother, now sadly lost, once gave her. Got it. She'll be so happy. I saw it with my own eyes. I was up in the human world searching for buttons and such. Well, you know the way I do. I just found a particularly lovely one, all spangly with a little filigree around the edge. Madam! Yes. Well, I look up and there he is. The little Tilling Mouse, speaking to the human like it was the most natural thing in the world. And you're certain he was talking to a human? Yes, yes, the yellow-haired skinny one that looks like a quill. They had a lovely chat. Hmm. This is grave indeed. Your Excellency, I present the parents of the accused. Mr. and Mrs. Tilling, what say you? How do you defend your son in the face of these allegations of very un-mouse-like behavior? Of conduct unbefitting a mouse? We can't turn him here. Don't you worry. I'll hang tough. They can bring the pressure, but I will not wilt. Not a bit. I will weather the storm of inquiry. Mr. Tilly. It's true! He won't cower. He won't tremble in fear. He explores anywhere and everywhere. He's just, just... Fearless. <laughs> I can't take him anywhere. We've been terrible parents. Failures? He's a good boy! Guards, bring Despero Tilly! The Mouse Watch, feared by all good citizens of Mouse Town, is coming for Despero. It will take all his cunning to evade them and get to the princess. Eek! Mouse Watch! You there, ho! The Mouse Council will have to wait. I've got to get this to the princess. I've invested my <coughs> in cheese future. It's very lucrative. No one knows at the end of that thing. Very scary. Take that! Ooh! Mmm! Ooh! Mmm! 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 Ooh! Mmm! Ooh. Mm. Hi, Death Burrow. I won't say anything. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Mm-hmm. 
You're in real trouble. I've noticed the blue cheese is even better when it goes Ooh. fast. Brave lad, I'm over here.
we meet again, your good friend Caravaggio. Caravaggio, please, take this key for safekeeping. The Mouse Watch is sure to capture me, and I can't let them take it away. Please, keep it until I get a chance to give it to her. A heroic quest indeed. Of course I will guard your treasure, me young Gah! friend. To the Mouse Council with him! If Despero hoped for understanding, the Mouse Council was the wrong place to expect it. Now, Master Tilly, consider your answers carefully as if your life depends on them. Do you have any remorse for your actions? Well, that depends. On what? On what remorse means. Are you sorry? Uh, no. She was sad. She needed a friend. Despero Tilling. As the wisest mice in Mousedom, we have afforded you every chance. Therefore, it is my unpleasant task to sentence you to perpetual, almost certainly fatal, exile! But we, we've never exiled one so young. My decision is final. <laughs> young Tilly, I've heard about you. The brave mouse. Good for you. What you have now is something every knight lives for. A chance to overcome adversity. Godspeed, young mouse. Down, down into the darkness. Oh, dear reader. Will our little friend be all right? Ow! That hurt! Whoa! Woo-wee! Whoa! Up and over! Whoa! Watch out! Help! Whoa! Help! This is where rule breakers are sent. Here, into the depths. And not one, dear reader, not one has ever returned. Mm, mm. Mm. Ooh! Mm. Anybody? Mm. He's quite alone. But you know, dear mm. friend, in a place like this, that's probably for the best. Ooh. Mm. 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 Uh huh. Whoa!
Hello? Watch out! Whoa! Wee Help! Ow! Whoa! Woo wee! Woo wee! Wee Whoa! 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 Look at this place! Despero can't go back. The only way is forward, across the brackish lake. Water in nose! Nose. Mm. Mm. It's a long way down there. Help!
Maybe I could use those boats to get over there. It is very difficult all on the climb. In exchange for a bite of cheese, I'll teach you some sh Point hanging around here. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Yum, ten. 
tadpoles. Ah, with this steely weapon, no one can stop me. No one remembers where old Gregory came from. One day long ago, he appeared at the castle and asked to do the worst possible job. He was sent to be the keeper of the dungeons. A mouse? What are you doing here? I got exiled. <laughs> oh, exiled? What could you have possibly done to be exiled? I spoke to a princess. I had a princess of my own once. My daughter. She was a princess to me. But I lost her. You knew a princess too? Because my princess is the prettiest thing that ever lived. And I'd never let her go if I could help it. Well, good for you. She's the most gracious, lovely human I could ever imagine. Go tell it to the rats, why don't you? Despero finds himself lying crumpled in a corner. Worse, crumpled in a corner surrounded by hungry rats. Dear reader, I hope this turns out all right. The rats sweep our hero up and whisk him down further into the dungeons. Down in the depths of the dungeon is Rat World. The citizens of Rat World like to see fighting and violence and pain. And they like to eat mouse meat. Their leader, the cunning and ruthless Botticelli, has built an arena where terrible things can happen to a young mouse. <laughs> That's me! Fellow rats, for your entertainment, we have today an especially delectable morsel. He's not the plumpest mouse in the castle, but he shows spirit. Shall we see how well he fights? Ring in the cat! A cat, dear reader. A very hungry cat. Despero will have to fight with all his tiny mouse I can't beat that cat. I've got to get away. Get him, you lazy cat. He can't reach me up there on the pole. Mm. I'll climb up on top of the pole. Mm. Help! <laughs> Yow! That cat is serious. <laughs> Help! <laughs> mm. Uh-oh. I do enjoy a good cat and mouse contest. I'll get him to run into ah. these walls. I'll taunt him and he'll run at me. Ow. Whoa! Just as Botticelli is about to give the signal for Despero's demise, he is interrupted. Wait! Can I have him? I beg your pardon? That one looks especially tasty. A score. You amaze me. I'll get up on top of the cat cage. Here's the crank. I can open the cage. Mm. Mm. Maybe. 
Maybe I can lift up the door and hit him on the head. Yikes! Here come the rat guards! Uh -huh. When no matter how hard you try, the forces of nature are simply too much. There is no escape. There is nothing you can do. Despero is in just that sort of situation. Help! Oh dear. And when one finds oneself in such a spot, my advice to you, dear friend, is simply this. Close your eyes as tight as you can. Meanwhile, Roscuro continues to try to save Despero. But you've always been such a softy. Maybe I'm getting tough. Perhaps you are. Hold the cat! You see, with your eyes closed, you never know what might happen next. Just keep following me. Okay. Look scared. Botticelli saved you from the cat, but he can't control everything. We have to stick to the shadows, or you'll be eaten before we get anywhere. Has our hero been saved? Alas, he doesn't know for certain himself. He must keep out of sight while he follows Roscoe to find out. Keep to the shadows, little friend. Despero's only hope is the mysterious Roscoe. But first, he must slip past the cruel denizens of Rat World. You can divert the Rat Guards by hitting something real hard. Stay on my toes. Ooh. Better stay on my toes. Mm. Ooh. Caravaggio, at your service. My hearing in, in exchange for a bite of cheese. I'll teach you some surefire combat moves. Better yet, in exchange for shiny buttons. Ah, a lovely quick... This one's the strong, this quick attack finisher move for the rusty nail connoisseur. A sparkling finish to a four attack chain. Knock some back or knock some down. This is my lucky day. I am still a Caravaggio. How can I explain these rats to you, my friend? They live in dark and squalor. They eat garbage and an occasional lost animal. And they like it. 
I get it. If I push that boulder over, it'll drain the pool, and I can get across. Creepy in here. Yikes, rats all over the place. safe out here. you. Mmm. 
Quickly, the two flee to Roscaro's secret hiding place, a place he has never shown to anyone, a place he cherishes, dear friend, like no other, a place with light. Look, this is my light. It's not much, but it's mine. It's beautiful, like the princess. A great sadness came over Despero. The world he knew above had been lost, but a new friend was found. And sometimes friends know just the right thing to say when your heart is low and sad. Tell me about this princess. She's beautiful. Like your light. Her smile could light up a whole room. And this was how a friendship was born. Over the next few weeks, Despero taught him of honor and integrity and princesses and longing. But he did not know that his friend knew of these latter two very well already. Roscuro? After many days in the hiding place, Despero awakes to find his friend missing. Roscuro? And when he peers outside, he hears a terrible thing. <coughs> While Despero has been here, much has happened, O Reader. Roscuro tried to apologize to P, but when she chased him off, he manipulated poor Mig to capture her. It's hard to believe, but sometimes a broken heart can make us do unimaginable things. The princess! The princess! Oh my! The princess! How did this happen? How could this happen? It's Princess P! She needs help! Good work, boys. Put her in the Colosseum, but no nibbling. We're saving her for tonight's feast. I don't have Roscuro to help me get around Rat World. I need a disguise. If Despero is to have any hope of getting to the princess, he will have to disguise himself as a rat. But how on earth, dear friend, will he hide those ears? Disguise, disguise. Ah! I need a disguise to get to the princess. Hey, Ooh. there ought to be a cloak here in the bathhouse. Mm. Float on that steam. Ooh. This one's way too big. Better keep looking. Getting the hang of this. This one's too small, even for me. This one's perfect. Now I need something to cover my ears.
Very difficult or my adventuresome friend. I can teach you dazzling combat. Those helmets over there. Maybe one will fit me. If I can just sneak past those guards. Better tiptoe. Perfect for a helmet. Hmm. I'm too short for a rat. Gotta find a way to make me taller. I heard Roscaro trick some other human into capturing the princess forest. I never laughed so hard. A real human in the Colosseum. She's in the arena. I've got to get over the bridge. Gotta get over this smelly river. Maybe I can sneak under that carriage to get to the Colosseum. to get to the Coliseum, pronto. Hey, you say filthy, stinking, greedy beast like it's a bad Nah, thing. they had me all confused. It was like I was in a maze or something. You know, I like living underground. I like the underground culture. 
Those sticks could work as stilts. If I can get up there, my disguise will be complete. Got him. Now to the Colosseum to save the princess. This ledge doesn't feel so sturdy. Oh ho! Aha! Ah Whoa! I will deliver you from this evil, m'lady, and I will fight to the death if necessary. There's no need to die, my good sir, but go to my father. Take my locket to show him you are honest and truthful. Oh, I am. Honest and truthful and loyal and... I know, but hurry. Take it. It will be my quest. Yes, good. Make it your quest. So Despero carefully makes his way back to Gregory's table. There he hides on a tray of food, just as Louise comes to gather it up. That Meg... Slothful at what she is. Now I have to do dungeon duty. Me! There's a reason Louise doesn't like dungeon duty. The steps are just too steep. <laughs> Drat! I've dropped it again. Whoa, how am I gonna get up these giant steps? These long winding stone steps lead back to the light and Princess P's salvation. Despero will have to use all his resourcefulness and cunning to scale them if he's to save the princess. Oh, my. 
why. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Wonder where that leads. Hmm. That corkscrew in that cork might come in awful handy. Maybe if I turn it enough. Mm. Mm. Okay, got a corkscrew. Now what? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Mm, mm. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Like it or not, this sad soul is Despero's only hope of saving the princess. Only the king can command the guards to search the dungeons for Princess P. If Despero can reach him, he can save her. But how can one so small get the attention of one so large? Hello, your highness. Hey, down here, your highness. Mr. King, hey, look down here.
We've only got until tonight's feast. You hear that? Feast! Oh, no. The king, sunk deep in hopelessness and despair, cannot be reached by our brave hero. It's hopeless. Despero will need to turn somewhere else. The princess is in trouble! Sheesh. This is impossible. Perhaps, if Despero can get back home, maybe the Mouse Council would forgive him. Could his family, friends, and neighbors rally to his side? Might those who knew him best help him save P? It was a lot of coulds, perhaps his maybes and mites. But hopes of home were all he had. The citizens of Mouse Town relish their safety and comfort. It won't be easy to convince any of them to venture into the dangerous world. Mouse watch everywhere. Better not let him see me. Ghost! Dad, I'm not a ghost. I need help. Forgive me, ghost of my son. I should have helped you then. I should have done something, but I was too afraid. Oh, ghost, won't you understand? I forgive you. I forgive you, Dad. But Princess P, there, there's rats and she's all tied up. And I've got to help her, Dad. Rats? Princess? I can't fight rats. Plus, you're a ghost. Oof. Dad? Dad? Oh, Great, he's fainted. Who can help me now? Furlo will help me out. Let's see. If he got held after school like usual, he should be there now. I'm going to head for the school. little mouse my adventures Despero help you you're alive can't talk now furlo i need help the princess p is trapped in the dungeon i'm the only one who can save her oh i'm real happy to see you little brother i'd love to help but the dungeon oh, that place is dangerous and we're not allowed to leave the town oh and I'm really busy. But what'll I do? Who will help me? Mom. Maybe Mom will have an idea. Where's Mom? Ever since you got banished, she mourns down by the town well. She mourns? It's real depressing. Good luck. Ooh. Ooh.
Sound. I know it's hard, Mom, but the princess is being held in the dungeon by the rats. She's in a terrible fix, and only I can help. In the dungeon? Despero! I know, I know, but I've got to do something. Only a human will be able to help you. Go to the bell tower and ring the town bell, Despero. Ring it as loud as you can and hope it wakes up the humans to their missing princess. Despero rings and rings the bell. It tolls throughout Mousetown. It echoes out of the Mousetown Pantry and into the castle proper. It even rings in the sleepy dreams of one almost out-of-work chef. <laughs> ah, yes, at last, at long last, I'm going to make soup. Where is my sous chef? I need help. Back in Mousetown, Despero is also smelling the soup. Soup? Princess P talked to me about soup. She thought it could help her. I must find it! Soup? Save a princess? Frankly, dear reader, it seems highly unlikely. Soup is good for many things, but there are limits. Still, our little friend has nowhere else to turn, so he scampers out of Mouse Town and makes his way into the kitchens. Ha! Ah! What are you? Boldo, the essence of the soup. Who are you? Help me! The princess is tied up in the dungeon! Someone needs help. Yes, the princess in the dungeon. To the dungeons, giant. Rats! Get him! A giant walking vegetable plate can't help but attract the attention of the ever-hungry rats. And they fall on Baldo with a vengeance. Remove your mangy mouth from me! But alas, the rats bring Baldo down in a scattered, saladly mess. <laughs> my arms! My legs! My jeans! Baldo! But to release the princess, Despero will have to fight his way across all of Ratworld. The Colosseum. Get the to the Colosseum. Thank you, Baldo. I'll save the princess, I promise.
That needle! It's so beautiful and elegant. Almost like something a real knight would carry. At last I have a real sword. Maybe even one that can defeat the rats and save the princess. <clears throat> It is I, Caravaggio!
Despero Tilling has heroically made his way back to the Colosseum, but he is still all alone. He is one small mouse amidst a teeming city of voracious rats. How, oh how, can he help the princess? Oh no, I can't possibly fight all of these rats. But there is one thing, one in all the world, one thing that rats fear. The cat! They're afraid of the cat! Note this, dear friend. Sometimes cleverness is more valuable than strength. Sometimes it can give you a, how shall I put it? If I can open the cat cage, I've got a chance. That's the word I was looking for, a chance. Let the feast begin. Princess, don't worry, I'll save Stop you. Stop that little mouse. Don't risk your own life. Hold on, Princess P. I've got to get on top and release the cat. Enjoy in your adventure in exchange for a bite of cheese.
in your adventure? I am. Despero releases the cat on the army of vicious rats. Look! The cat cage! The cat! Run! Save yourself! The cat! Help! Complete chaos ensues as the rats scrabble desperately to get out of the dungeon and away from the fearsome tabby. Ah! The cat! Run! Hide! Out of my way! Despero and the princess have escaped. Except, dear reader, do you see any difficulties that might come up? Now, dear reader, if you have been attentive, you will no doubt realize that this cat is Despero's dragon. And, as always is the case in these matters, he absolutely must defeat the dragon to save his princess. Be careful, Despero! Ow! That hurt! Ha-ha! Ow! That hurt! I do enjoy a good cat and mouse contest. I do enjoy a good cat and mouse contest. Huh. Use those sharp cat teeth. Huh. Ah oh, oh. ha! Ha! That hurts. Whoa. I do enjoy a good cat and mouse contest. Aha! Are you alright? Enjoy a good cat and mouse contest. Oh ho! Aha! That hurt! 
I do enjoy a good cat and mouse contest. Huh. Are you alright? <laughs> Get him, you lazy cat. Ow! That hurt! Use those sharp cat teeth. Use the needle! Get him, you lazy cat. Whoa! You <laughs> can it! That's right, you did it! Despero has fought off the masses of rats, defeated the cat, and saved Princess P. Surely he can now enjoy the small bit of happiness he's earned. Not so fast, little mouse. Forget about me! Save your own life! If I leave you now, my life means nothing! I've waited my whole tiny mouse life for this moment. Only Botticelli stands in his way. But he is the most vile and devious rat in all of Rat World. Can Despero defeat him as his one last heroic feat? Oh dear friend, there's only one way to find out. Come on then, little mouse with big ears. Mm. A needle? Oh, Are whoa. you headed to a sewing bee? Try that again and I'll show you what yeah, Pick a Seed's mouse is all about. Uh -huh. Whoa! 
Yet again, little rat. Ow. Ow. Whoa. That Good hurt. Sir. Are you wounded? That hurt. Beat me. Never. I'll always be there, lurking in the shadows, waiting for my chance. And so, dear reader, you've completed the tale. Reached the point of happily ever after. The princess apologized to Roscaro. I'm so sorry. Who in turn forgave the princess? You should be. Who in turn forgave the princess? I mean, we're square. Meg and her father were reunited. Who is the pretty princess? You are. I am. Me. M-I-G, me. Despero was reunited with his town and family. He's never gonna fear anything now. You'll work on him. Who accepted him just the way he was, bravery and all. And the king reunited the kingdom with its first love. Soups on! Despero finally, finally gives the music box key to Princess P. Andre recreates Baldo with every pot. It hasn't been easy. Despero and indeed you, dear friend, have overcome many challenges. But that is the life of a knight. It is, in fact, life itself. And just as in life itself, it's good to look back and remember how you got to wherever you are.